I've started doing TikTok and Shopee live streams. Is it not chocolate? Sam and I are going to Korea! We're shooting for Nespresso today. So you can see the set. Behind me is ice. I am doing milk, coffee, and I like milk coffee. First one was Nespresso shoot. How was the shoot? It was very interesting actually. Wash her drink coffee. <laughs> That's not the interesting part, I'm I know, sure. Okay. I mean, honestly, the photo shoot is quite fun. But like you learn a lot, right? Like, how yeah. like, every strand of hair has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we are going for Claire de Poe and we are just chilling in the edition. I realized the last time I brought Stacey to an event, it was by Cass. Also. It's also here. <laughs> like, she's the edition girl now. Yes. But this is actually only my second time here, so both times are with Stacey. Oh, honored. <laughs> the theme of the outfit is white, so therefore, I'm going to She made me take out my white outfit. <laughs> you don't? Wear white? I don't wear white very often, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you wear green. You wear that green shirt. Yes. <laughs> very often. <laughs> it's a photo here. I know. I'll repeat it repeat <laughs> A new version of my favorite eye cream, which is the eye contour cream. Now it is fortified with five times more concentrated of uh, this thing called lempuyan extract, which is basically ginger, but um, it's great for maximizing the fibers. Oh, hello! <laughs> hey, I want to say I really love your cookies. Oh, thank you. We finished already. Mentaiko, tentacle wash. Salty. Salty. Not to not get so much sauce. They thought sperm fried very well. Mm. It's very tasty. Yeah. This is Tasty's first time trying shakshuka. Never. Okay. Can't believe it. Hey. I can't believe it. <laughs> I told her that I make pretty good shakshuka. Okay, I'll make for you next time. But this looks pretty good. Shakshuka is like very easy to make. Anyway, take your sourdough first before it gets like soaked. Nice, not? Nice, right? Lunch was actually pretty good, and I got to spend a whole day with things today, which was really nice. We had our monthly check in, something that I try to do with my girls just to kind of check in and see how uh, they are feeling and what they are struggling with or what they feel like they want to learn more of. Um, and I think that's very important in an in internship to have like two way communication. Then we went to this cafe called Halcyon and Crane. Halcyon? I have no idea. It's, I, th I think it's a bird. I mean Crane is a bird so I guess the Halcyon is a bird's friend. I don't know if it's like something else I just sound like an idiot talking right now and just please do not mind me. But yeah I've been so tired lately because I've started doing TikTok and Shopee live streams for that letter M. Really salute all the live streamers that do this day in day out. I know of live streamers that stream every single day just like selling products. <sighs> it's tough and I really don't think it, it is for me. I don't feel like I'm doing well <laughs> at that because I get too technical. Like you know when someone asks me a question, I realize like for live streamers they just like to be like yes or no. Like for me I would just say no because da 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 da. This is better than this because da, 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 da. but like nobody cares. Like people only want to know like what's the discount and which one they should choose. I feel quite defeated, which is not great. But tomorrow I have another TikTok live and it is for MGP label, so you guys are gonna come with me for that. But for now, all I'm thinking of is going back to spend time with Micah and clear some work. See you guys at home.
We're going to Caleb's house. Go for Caleb's house. Be careful. Okay, be careful. Let's go. Yes. It's very tragic because I really love this pair of pants. Oh my gosh. It's like a pasta stain, it's not like curry or anything. So, very soon. Goodbye. I got home at 2 last night. We were doing an MVP live stream. I'm starting to think that live stream life probably isn't for me. I love doing it, but physically it's taking such a huge toll. If you want to like juggle a day job, it's really tough. My skin is just not cooperating well with me. I wet compressed, and even after wet compressing, it is not taking away the dryness of it because it's really coming from within. Whenever I'm stressed out or I don't have enough sleep or I don't drink enough water, the first thing that shows is I sneeze a lot. Today, unfortunately, is a very, very busy day. I've got a show in the morning, a meeting, two events, a meeting, a meeting, and then a food tasting at night. <sighs> Ciao! Wrong enough, correct? I think you have to do real soon. Tonight's dinner, we feel like we are in Bali. We're in air and density. This place is beautiful. Look at this open concept kitchen. It's very wide, and I can imagine in the day it's gonna look super nice. This is my outfit today. A little bit like not my usual style. Between a flat bread, a cake, a baguette, it's like dense, like a ciabatta, but it's like moist, like a normal manto, and it's fried on the outside. And it's cheese, I think, that is. When you smell it, it smells like cheese. So there are little pockets of little surprises inside, which is very nice. You can see it's very dense, so it's kind of chewy. So this is the main, so we've got grilled duck and we've got a sea bass with herbs and it's like holiday sauce and some beans. So this is made by the World's Pastry Chef 2021. This is called reincarnated chocolate. Basically it is made of like cocoa, cocoa has and whatever. Not an ounce of chocolate but it tastes like chocolate. This is our jackfruit. I think some sort of like an ice cream. Bon appetit! Like a lot of things going on. Wow. I think it's bananas. There are bananas inside. Oh, the banana. Is there no chocolate at all? Do you know what's in the chocolate though? Yeah, I'm trying to jackfruit. Have you guys have a nice evening? Sensational. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. They're very different, so it's like a bit more sour, very tropical. I'm a rich. Decadent dessert girl, so my vote is with the chocolate green custard. Oh, there's no chocolate at all. So it's back to back events today. I had a lunch meeting that got cancelled, which is a blessing in disguise because I would have been extremely late for it anyway. But right now I'm back at 313. I realized 313 is the mall that I'm constantly at. Like it used to be like Ion, but now because my gym is here, uh, my lashes. It's here and I just seem to always be parking here and I'm always here like at least once or twice a week. This is the outfit for the day. Kind of something a bit cuter, like more crappy style. Next event is a petrol. Wow! And when is this until? Uh, this is still night. And what is this animal? You need to put, push it down. Okay, quick. Good job. 
I did it in myself, la. Skincare secret, like how do you keep your skin looking so good for filming? You know, with the long hours. Yeah. I actually have to tell that this this kind of care is not. So I see. Yeah. Oh right. Of course. You know, um, I can also see that you. <laughs> I'm also going to share more about your um, SK2 experience. So, um, if SK2 is that secret. What do you feel about your own? Funny because I went to bleach my hand, I look a bit different. But I've been taking this for, and it's like really, really, really good. This is for your hair, it's like helps to strengthen and everything. And anyway, if you guys see me in any Watson's Guardian or any other pharmacies, tag me! We're at the new Sanrio. I love Sanrio. Do you know they got omakase also? Let's go check out the omakase. Show Sam my new hair. <laughs> oh my god, Sam and I are going to Korea. So today we are gonna do our planning. Planning. So what? Where you wanna? Do? Okay, I only have a few things that I wanna do. I'm gonna go for. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, we are same, same. <laughs> so pretty. So cute. This is our appetizer. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow, you just put the whole thing in your mouth. So thick. Tuna, salmon, young mackerel, some ice plant, corn. Wow, this is actually very fusion. So we've got crab. Oh, look at how fresh the mushrooms are. And a huge chunk of tofu. Mmm. Every time I come to San Rio, the one thing I'll whack, right, is their salmon sashimi. Because it's pretty affordable, I would say. And um, look at how thick the sizes are. Okay, let's try the hamachi. Usually, you know, this kind of fish, if it's not fresh, it has a very fishy smell. But over here, it's pretty good. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna try their signature and break it into half because I'll share it with Sammy. The negatoro, when you mix it with the uh, uni, it's just like creamy upon creaminess. So good. This one is fatty tuna with negatoro. This one seems like awabi, which is abalone, with uni. Very creamy. There's the Hokkaido fresh meat. I'm gonna start on this first. So, this is like one of their signatures. If you've been to Sanrio, you will know that. This is so worth it because look at how much uni there is. If you try to get uni sushi, right, you literally get one piece. It's a very nice like, activity as well. Like. Go for it. 
Mm -hmm. Creamy, right? And then go ahead, the smelly, smelly taste. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so like fatty. Yeah. That's the chicken chow. Is this the last, the last one? That's the last one. <laughs> I know you guys are full now. <laughs> Dessert time! Oh my god, looks like a huge pearl spitting out of this but I love like a Monaka dessert. You guys need to go and try their green tea ice cream. It's one of the best. Do you like rice sesame? Yeah, I like it. Mm. If Amanda was here, she would say it's a whole person food. Oh yeah! No, but she would love the green tea. Good, right? Matcha or black sesame? Okay. Matcha drink. Black sesame ice cream. Matcha cake, matcha cookies, but I like obviously black sesame, tang yuan. Mm, I, lo I love black sesame, it's like my number one. I started eating black sesame like after black sesame balls from Playmate. Playmate. Uh, before that, I hated black sesame. You are not the OG. I'm not, because I'm a young person. <laughs> Our tummies are not holding up well. I have to tap out. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring back to the office for the girls. She's gonna go back while well, I'm gonna go and pack my luggage for tonight. Good evening. I got my hair done. If you guys haven't noticed yet, I actually got some bleached highlights in. This is my first time washing it, so I quite like it. I feel like it makes me a little bit more, a bit more youthful, lah, huh? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm flying off to Perth, so today I thought I would do a little bit unready with me before I end this vlog. Um, here is a sneak peek of that letter M's travel case. So we made special travel cases and I really love the quality of it. It's like really good quality. It's frosted, super smooth and it fits our cotton sheets just right. So you can get this travel case and it comes with 15 pieces already inside. So this is great for people who want to travel or if you just want 15 pieces without having to purchase the entire box of 80, you can do that too. Toner first, so... So now I'm super excited to be trying out CG Skin's latest product. I just came back from their Suntec City pop-up. It's a gelato bar, so it's really cute. And CG Skin has like the cutest like pop-up events. They put in so much effort. And for the rest, I'm just gonna split it. So I'll wet it first. So I just left it on for three minutes. I'm just gonna go around my entire face. I'm gonna bring the travel case with me to Australia as well. I love just giving my toner some time to soak in because results are really truly different. Just look at the skin. So this is the Blissful Radiance. It's an anti-acne serum. I was super excited to find out like what color the next product would be and it's pink! Okay, so this is very interesting because I saw that they were using sulfur as the active ingredient to control your acne and breakouts and to also gently exfoliate the skin. It also contains 5% pentanol to help with the replenishment of the hydration. Hexapeptide 9 as well as hyaluronic acid. I did ask Xenia, the founder, when I was at the Suntech pop-up yesterday, like, why why did she choose to use sulfur? Because I've never really heard of sulfur as an anti-acne ingredient in skincare. And she said it's because CG Skin is like a clean vegan brand. So the ingredients that they choose are generally milder and more gentle for the skin. And people who are breastfeeding or who are pregnant will not be able to use salicylic acid. So this would be a good alternative. That's what she says. So I just give it a try. The texture is super light, as with a lot of their products. It's like super super light. It's absolutely no smell at all. It also settles quite well into the skin and it's actually hydrating. It's not like the kind of dry smell or anything. So you can see. This helps to give you soft, happy, healthy skin. After cleansing, day and night, twice a day. Use it all over your face or you can use it as a spot treatment. So I just did it all over my face just to give it a go. But I do have an acne spot here, so I'm just gonna... Okay, but it's already flat, so I'm happy with happy with it right now, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the rest of my skincare and I'll be 
back. So basically tomorrow we are setting off super early in the morning. Our flight is like 7 so we have to be at the airport at 5. I'm scurrying to pack everything now because when you guys travel with a toddler, you know that you are very tempted to bring the entire routine. Like I'm even bringing his portable cord. So one thing we realized that would be an issue is that because we're traveling with five adults like including myself and one baby, even though we rented a car for a seven-seater car, I think if all of us shows up with a luggage, there's really just not gonna be enough space for all of us at all. So now, man, I have to consolidate everything of ours into one luggage. Micah has one luggage on his own and our helper, Sophia, will have a small carry-on luggage and then my in-laws are only allowed like one medium-sized luggage or something. I don't know man, I feel like even that it sounds like it's, it's too risky. And I'm like doing some last minute like downloading of shows and packing my makeup. After this, I gotta pack my makeup and my hair tools. I'm gonna try to keep it as minimal as possible but I really don't know how that's gonna work. Fingers crossed. Who are you guys rooting for? I actually want him to get back with his ex. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I feel like he really still likes Tahe, so... And they both still love each other, that's why. 